What's up guys and welcome to the video on logarithms. Let's do it. I really like to talk about how to use logarithms because they usually create a fair amount of fear or anxiety in most students. You look at a log problem and most people just instantaneously feel, feel that the problem must be complex, but it's really not like that. It's all about understanding what a, logarithm, what a logarithmic function is really asking. So first, what is a logarithm, right? So let's say we have the example of logarithm base three of nine, and it's asking, what does that equal? Or if we have log base two of eight equals what? We don't know, right? Well, what is the logarithm asking? Okay, here's how to define it. it a logarithm is just asking the question, how many of one number do we need to multiply against itself to get another number? Put another way, what exponential power must we raise one number to get another number? So really logarithms are all about exponents. So right, so you see, it's saying what exponential power must we raise one number in blue to get another number in red? And all of this is gonna be color coded as we go along. So let's think about it from this perspective, right? When we say what exponential power must we raise one number, this is referring to the base number. So log base three of nine is saying, what exponential power must we raise the number in blue to get the number in red? So basically it's saying, hey, what power do we have to raise three to to get nine? And I think most of us know three squared is nine, so, the exponential power here is gonna be two. Now let's solve the next one. Log base two of eight equals what? Meaning, what exponential power of two, do we, what exponential power must we raise two to get eight? And in this case, it is three, okay? Right, so we raise two, which is the one number, to the power of three, that's the exponential number, to get our answer, which is eight. Let's go through a couple more examples to make sure we understand exactly how to use the logarithm function. So next, let's say we have log base four of 16 equals what? Again, we're asking four to what power equals 16? It's always that base raised to some power, whatever you're equaling it to, that gives you 16. So what is that? Well, four squared is 16, so the answer there is two. Now let's look at log base something of 27 equals three, meaning something to the third power equals 27. That's what this is asking. So how do we figure that out? Well, what to the third power is 27? And that of course is three. That's all there is for information on logarithmic functions. Let's get on to some practice problems.